as I navigate the twisters and turns of jujitsu on the 10th planet. My name is Jason Eisner, and this is Mastering the System. Yo, Denny, uh, you gained some weight recently, dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, one, I'm like 162 right now, dude. 162? Yeah. I gained weight since I got back from Poland. I've been eating a lot of Greek food. Now he, he, he 162. With the gi, 173. That's, that's more weight. Mark weight. I'm gonna push that choke like that. I'm gonna be heavy. Okay, guys. Um, again, right hand to left wrist, or left hand to right wrist. Always the same side. Don't grab a cross because the guy will yank you and arm drag you if you grab a cross. Uh, what I like to do is control the wrist. I'll sometimes push into them, um, into their stomach, in, down here. You know, even sometimes I'll try and push back, and, and they, I just get them to reach towards me. When that happens, I direct the hand past me. My hand comes behind the tricep here. I like to flap my leg this way. This allows me to spring with action. Some people can put their foot right here and spring up. And then Einstein and Marcelo like to slide into first base like that. Not first base. Home. Home, Home. plate. Never right. slide in the first. <laughs> Unless you bunt. <laughs> so again, I, I'm just kind of psyching them out. You can play double hand, you know, and then he pushes. So this setup is just to get the over-under. So that's the main thing. When we have that back exposed, we jump on the over-under. In this case, left arm over, right arm under. Okay. And then it's real important. If I can pull him past me, that's great. But realistically, that's not going to happen. He's going to be tight. So when I get this and my leg comes out here, it's to pull me past him. I'm moving myself around him. It's the same in wrestling. I move myself around him. Over under. And we're doing the ball and socket now, right? Yes, ball and socket, over under, we get both hooks in. Then the guy defends 100% by going to the leg press, balancing on both legs, pushing back here, both hands on the choking arm, which is the overall. Alright, so now Cade's going to go from the back to the trunk. We remove the right hook, butterfly, put him on a side, and then we lock the legs down. All right, it's on a side, the legs are locked. We don't have two hooks anymore. We have one hook with both our legs. And now we're gonna move all the way to grab that leg here. But we can't let go of his, his both his arms, both his free arm and his free leg can't be free at the same time. Otherwise, he'll spin out. So we get up, the underarm turns into a, an, an underhook, get up on your elbow, switch the hooks, grab his free leg. Once you grab that leg, you let go of that hook. We make all the way, our way all the way over to his calf cramp. Grab the toes, both toes, because if we don't control this leg, he's gonna stomp this free. So we have to take his savior out of the mix too. And then we stomp and pull, and then we're going after this calf cramp. Again. We're trying to do the setup, it is grabbing that wrist, and trying to do the, do the you're, you're pushing him the opposite way you want I, him I just like to kind of push into his bread basket because I mean, you can just kind of slam into someone like this to take him over. And if you do that to someone enough, they get tired of it and then they can throw it. Like over under, both hooks, ball and socket. We got the over under here. That was the setup, we got his back. He defends perfectly, he's leg pressing. Both hands on the choking arm. Now we gotta get him on his side because the rear naked choke is hard when a guy is leg pressing for defense. So we underhook, we butterfly in the back of his knee, get him on his side. Eddie, I think there's something important. So when I used to do this, I used to kind of just throw the guy over and I'd try and get my lock down. I wouldn't be that good. I'd have to scoop down yes. and relax yes. it. So what I found is instead of just kicking him over like this, I actually kick my foot in that direction and it brings the lockdown a lot easier. I come all the way over that. Nice. So I think that just makes it a little easier. Beautiful. So now the underarm turns into underhook as we get up on our elbow. We exchange hooks, grab his free leg. And oh, there we go. Make our way. Both hands on his toes. 
not on his instep. If you put his hand on him, you put his hand on his instep, he could put a boot on, and if he could put a boot on, he could straighten out his leg. So now you have nothing. Ramming the toes, it keeps him from putting the boot on. On both legs. <clears throat> One more time. On the rag with the back, over on. Another thing is you'll see a lot of times you're playing hands with someone up here. Just bring your hand back a little bit when he reaches to keep playing. You got the overrun. That's all we want is that overrun, that control. That the hook's in, he's defending perfectly. Kick him all the way over. Get that leg in deep, you can scoot your ass down. Make sure your ankles are crossed, you got him in the lockdown. Now it's time to travel on his body, down to his feet. Let's go. I train my foundation coming from the gi. So do you wear a gi like to go get a sandwich? Like that, that's 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 a nice joke. And someone like an Edge Bravo might say something like that. Yeah. And that's why I see that that you come from his his style. Everyone comedian. Oh, I didn't but mean to no, offend you. I'm sorry, here not to. I, I just meant like you wear a gi around in life, or I wear a gi. When I think that, that I need to wear a gi. Okay. If I'm gonna compete, I'm gonna wear a gi. If I'm gonna train jujitsu, I'm gonna wear a gi. But what if you want like an eggplant parm sub? Do you wear a gi? If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna wear a, if I'm gonna eat that, we're gonna go go to to the next question. Uh, okay. So the next question is, you're in a no gi school wearing a gi right now from head to toe. That's right. And. What do you think exactly of Eddie Bravo's jiu-jitsu if you're here training? But Lamar, I'm going to tell you something about Edge Bravo. He trained maybe a few years. Then he do King of the Cage. He's going he gonna to announce King of the Cage. Then he's going to do maybe three fights Pride. Then he's going to do announce for Pride. He's going to watch the, the fight uh, uh, Vendelay Silva. Uh, Fight, uh, what's the guy name, the white guy? Uh, he fights a guy, uh, Guy Metzger. He gonna commentate on that fight. He gonna say, wow, that, that, that really cool fight. This, this is a cool fight. He don't, he don't know, he don't know what he say to techniques. So even though he, he got wait, a black wait, wait, belt. Let me finish. Okay, my if bad. you don't mind. My, my bad. If you don't mind. My bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see when I'm maybe 18 years old. I see, I see a super fight. I see Edge Bravo. I see him get lucky. He beats he beats uh, Qualigration. Then afterwards he go like this, like he from the the uh, the Furious Five. Okay, then then this to show no respect. But he was he show excited. no respect. Okay, he, he's excited. But afterward he cry like this. He he live go like this. Okay, that that's that, that for for me that's a no that's no respect to go this then to go this. But I mean, real men are you know they can be sensitive, you know. Yeah, real men gonna be sensitive, but then real men gonna come back, then gonna get your black belt, gonna get your black belt for one fight, and then he gonna come up and open a school. Then I fight to myself. I come, I buy a ticket. I come, I come. I say, you know what? You want to train Brazil Jiu-Jitsu? You got to come through me. But you train with Eddie. I train with him only to show him when he says something work, I show him that don't work. Now he's going to take my money because he's, he's American. He have that mentality. Right. He's going he gonna to ask me, give me that money. And I'm going to say yes. And then I'm going to train with him. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna take every student when they find out that's the gi. That's, that's jujitsu. But, Hinato, but I just tell you that's jujitsu. But you know that Southern California is full of Brazilian jiu-jitsu schools with the gi, so why would you... We're gonna make one more. 